is another uh, <coughs> another aspect they call logical positivism so that, you know all these things dedicate your life to turn over all these aspects you can do that <coughs> you are in a position and uh, present this life is from life to the or uh, the noble prize yes a challenge will it not be a great challenge oh yes yeah. the greatest challenge <laughs> yeah in science <clears throat> everybody is saying that the order and we are saying very small fraction almost insignificant so that is uh, every time when we speak the truth there is small section and then gradually it develops seed and then big seed and not immediately big seed One of the professors, he raised a question mm. in this uh, logical positivism, saying that something life is beyond experimental knowledge, mm. then he said, uh, <coughs> uh, according to logical positivism, whatever we cannot see, whatever we cannot uh, uh, find out by experiment, mm. is not, uh, it's not science. Mm. Yes, that is not science. That I am always speaking. The science means not to observe, but to make experiment. And that is science. Observation and experience. If we cannot make experience, it is all logic. That's what they say, theory. Theory. The Darwin is careful. He says theory. He doesn't say science. Hmm? Because yeah, he knows yeah. that he's talking all nonsense. So this is theory. <laughs> they also say that, that uh, you cannot prove uh, this atma by experiment. So anyway, then it is not science. He cannot prove, then why do you say it can be made by chemical combination? Well, he's saying that they say our position is we can't prove. Huh? We can't prove. Our then we can prove that the, our argument is that this is beyond our experiment and therefore you have to hear from the authority. That is our proof. Just like uh, you cannot make an experiment with your father, but you have to hear from your mother. That is the only way. There is no second alternative. Shabdapraman. Shabdapraman, yes. And there is another uh, very strange uh, uh, statement mm. in this regard, saying that though we cannot prove something by experiment, but sometimes it is convenient to assume that way. Yeah, Just that, like... That is foolishness. <laughs> that, assume? that is logical positivism, saying that uh, Now there's a house. Let's say there's a temple uh, there, but since I don't see the temple there, but I don't know that the, the temple is existing or not. But it is convenient to assume that there is a temple. When, there. Uh, when there is the possibility of getting proof, why should I assume? Because the, uh, they say no, they cannot that's see. That's the same example. You cannot see. You cannot see your father, because the father was before your birth. The only mother can see. How you can refute this argument? That was see is the only proof. We have a small chapter on this in the book. <coughs> mm -hmm. This uh, logical positivism. Yeah. Very interesting and very uh, uh, strange. This is remarkable. It is quite logical that without father nobody is born. So I do not know who is my father, but the mother is evident. That's all. You cannot make this. Uh, theory that I was born without father. That is not possible. Uh, that is not the laws of nature. But there must be father. Uh, you can say I have not seen it. Uh, that is not proof that there is no father. One who has seen, go. Tattva uh, darsina. Then Bhagavad Gita says, Tattva dhipani bhatena pripasnena sevaya. Upadakshanti tadvyana, jnana tattva darsina. Go to mother who has seen your father. 
That is the only proof. Dr. Darshan, if you are saying, you are happy. So you submit. Manipatana, to Mala. Mala, tell me who is my father. And she said, yes, she is. Dr. Siya Sin, Dr. Darshan. It is not that Mala is blindly indicating somebody as father. She has seen. And you have to learn from your mother by some reason. That's all. There is no other reason. Actually, we use this theory. <coughs> so, <coughs> so they ask us, have you seen God? Hmm? They ask us, so you say you have seen God? No, I'm not saying. God personally comes and I see Him. Krishna came, I see A fortunate person saw Him. There is Arjun Sahib. He accepted Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Param Bhava. Purusam, oh, he has person, Shastra, eternal. He has. We have to take knowledge from Arjun. That is called Param Prasis. He has seen God. And he is giving a statement to take Arjun's statement and see God. That is the way. We are not blindly accepting Krishna, but one who has seen Krishna, his statement is there, we accept. No one has seen the scientists create life yet. Uh-huh. No one has seen the scientists create life. So why should we accept uh, from matter? The scientists are saying life can be... What, what is this? What does he say? He's saying that no one has seen the science has created life. <coughs> uh-huh. So why... Uh, so therefore that we should not accept. So man will not accept. Yeah. Yes, that is another argument. Actually, we can utilize these ah. theories yeah, yeah. to disprove their own theories. Yeah, sure. It's uh, very convenient, like uh, this logical positivism. Yeah, it is now, very good argument. Darwin's that these rascals <coughs> have never produced light. And why do they say it? Like that? It's a good argument. Because they say that uh, we have not seen, that we don't believe. They are experimental. But you have not experimental. Why you push? Why you uh, brainwash my brain? <laughs> According to this uh, <coughs> logical positivism, mm. we can say that it is convenient to say that uh, man has arisen from apes, but that's not the truth. There is no experiment. There is no experiment. But it is convenient to assume, according to this logic. But that's not a fact. But why the modern age is not producing any human being? He said that's a long time ago. A long time. But, uh, now it is. Millions of years ago. But why man is producing man, not the ape? Just see how they are lunatic there. <laughs> Why did the process of evolution stop? It's convenient. It's, they've, they've, they've it's convenient to assume that way. <laughs> that's it's the term. Term. But that's not a fact. At least you have to accept that I'm blind. So how can so others to pass? You are blind. Distributing a book to the Prabhupada, then the people begin to realize that the scientists are blind. Hmm. Once they begin to disbelieve the, and doubt the scientists, then uh, then the scientists themselves will also be yes. able to come out with the truth. When a common man will challenge them, that you are rascal, you are blind, you are showing us the Lord, then it is. And refuse to accept it. First of all, first of all we have to show that their theory yes. is, uh, is wrong. Yes. Then, then you give an alternative uh, uh, view and see which one is uh, based on more uh, uh, real knowledge. Then uh, they'll accept. Otherwise, they will not. <coughs> so that duty is now entrusted to you and your hands. Krishna will help you.